everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited. I have the Erin Codron Summer Seasonal Surprise Box here and ready to be opened. As you can see, mine is completely taped shut. I have not opened this up. I've not snuck any sneak peeks on Instagram or on other YouTube channels or anything like that. So I am looking at this with completely fresh eyes, a full first impressions video. Really, really excited to dig into this. So if you don't know, Erin Codron offers a quarterly seasonal surprise box. It is a mystery box. It is $40, including shipping. And the only thing that they sneak ahead of time is the print on the box. They don't show any previews of any of the goodies or themes for inside. Literally, all you see is the box that it's going to come in. So it's really exciting. You usually get a fun mix of goodies in here. I did used to get these a long time ago from time to time, but I haven't I haven't picked one up in a really long time, so I'm excited to take a look and see what's inside of this. You do not have to subscribe to get this. When they just announced that it's coming, and then you can purchase it, and it ships a couple weeks later. So I bought this on, I think, May 24th, and it shipped on June 1st, so it's not like a huge lag time between that or anything like that. So I am really, really excited, and I cannot wait any longer, so let us open this up. Okay, so just gonna cut that open and we can take a look and see what is inside. So it's got this like gorgeous ombre on the cover and it says get in a summer state of mind. Let me tell you, I am already so there. I'm very much in a summer state of mind. Um, okay, so then it says balance. It's not something you find, it's something you create. And this is the little, it's like actually like a little bit of a card. And then the inside just says what is inside. I don't want to take too close of a look of it because I kind of want to like explore, but we'll put this off to the side and we will look things up at what they're called when I open them up. And then it just says, you know, like tag us on social media and there's like a thing where you can win next next season's surprise box and all of that. So it is packaged in that gorgeous Erin Cardron packaging and you've got your tissue paper and your little seal sticker there, which I'm going to rip open. And then I'm going to pop this whole thing out and we can take a look and see what's inside. Oh, that ombre runs like all the way to the bottom of the box. This box is honestly so gorgeous. Uh, I do save these. But anyway, so I'm going to put the box off to the side. Okay, so wrapped up all nice and neat here. Okay. Oh, a manicure set. That's interesting. Okay, so that's the first thing that jumped out. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this first because I have no idea what this is. But it says rose gold manicure set, five piece set. Oh, it's like a little travel nail set. That's really cute. A little bit uh, different than planner stuff, but I do feel like nails and planners do tend to go together. Uh, I know they certainly do for me. So let's open this up. Okay, so first of all, this case is gorgeous. It's like a a creamy white color and rose gold hardware and rose gold mid-century circle. So that classic Erin Codron design. I absolutely love this. It's really little. Like here is my phone and there it is compared to that. Um, and I have like the smaller phone, the, the SE or whatever it's called. Anyway, um, so here it is and it's just, oh, interesting. So it's got a nail set like of nail tools also all in rose gold. That is very aesthetic. Um, I don't know like how super useful this is because I care more about the function than the look of nail stuff but it does look like a really pretty set and it does have a set of tweezers they are a flat edge tweezers not a rounded uh not like a slant edge tweezers so I don't know and actually they don't really feel like good tweezers because I was gonna say maybe I'll use these for a oh actually once I open them up they're not that bad so these are the tweezers let me see if I can get that to focus it is a flat edge Compared to, these are my sweet suit tweezers, the one that I use on my eyebrows, not this particular pair, but this same brand. And then uh, two that I use for planner stickers. So I'm used to like the more slant edge, which is my preferred cut type of tweezer. Um, I do have another pair that I actually do my eyebrows with, not that pair. Um, but I might, I might give this a try, especially if I'm using a rose gold sticker kit. That could be very aesthetic. Uh, but there is also a nail clippers, little scissors, and then some other nail tools there. So that's kind of fun, very different and out there. And then I think all of this stuff has prices. And I do really like this little case too. Um, very, very cute. And this retails for $15 according to the little thing that came with it. Then next, it looks like you have a 
tote bag, a reusable shopping bag. I feel like this is, like there are often these reusable shopping bags in here. And this actually matches the print on the box. Oh, this one has a snap. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so it's got a snap and it is a tote bag and it's got, oh, that's interesting. So it's like a pink on one side. Let me zoom out for a second. It's pink on one side or it's a pink bag like a plain pink bag and then it's just got a pocket that is in those like palm leaves um this is a cute bag and they're really nice and they fold up super super tiny there's like instructions on how to fold it up and then you can clip, clip them shut but like i don't know who is grocery shopping with this because it is not that big <laughs> that being said i'll use it for other things but like this seems like it would be pretty small for a grocery bag but anyway it is a really cute reusable bag uh and yeah then next we have more nail stuff. So we have these nail stickers. They are in gold, silver, and rose gold. So the rose gold ones you have in the palm fronds. The gold ones are in like the EC asterisk. asterisk. And then the silver one is butterfly. So that's really super cute. I actually like these a lot. I do wear them sometimes. And I also, my kids really like to wear them. So we'll put them on the kids' nails as well. You just put them on, like stick them on like a painted nail. And then put a little bit of clear polish on top. And that's basically how they work. So that's fun. A lot of nail stuff in this uh, in this kit. So that's interesting. Um, okay, so those retail, those nail stickers retail for... Oh, these re these are seven fifty, but they say exclusive, so maybe they only come in here. And actually, the nail this nail thing says exclusive too. So I think that actually most of this stuff is exclusive. A couple of them are they say sneak peek on them versus exclusive. So both of these and actually the shopping bag as well says exclusive. So I think you maybe can only get this in the surprise box. It also says that the shopping bag retails for $14, which like, I don't think so. I, that is not a realistic price for a reusable shopping bag. Aren't they like five five dollars in the checkout line i don't know i mean and for a bigger bag than that i mean that's certainly cuter than what we got at the grocery store but yeah uh i think function matters a little bit more in that case but it is a really cute bag i don't think 14 dollars is really like a realistic price for that but uh you know i guess that's what it is so next up there is also two pages of stickers here. This one is, it's just like a, it's in the color blend style, I believe. Yeah, so, and then this is a sticker duo sheet and it says 550 and it's just got a bunch of different stickers on it and it's really pretty, like very vibrant and colorful um, and just, it's kind of like journaling style stickers, I guess. You have like a lot of half circles, some of these like arches, some third boxes and then some like larger dashboard type stickers, I guess. Uh, and they are foiled in, oh, this one is in gold and this one is in rose gold gold so that's interesting i do wish they were in the same foil so that i could use them together um but they are pretty cute and i will definitely use those in like a functional planner or in my daily duo or whatever just definitely really really vibrant like very very summery and then this says the retail price is 550 but again this is a uh exclusive to the box and then we also have two pens here this is one of the sneak peek um, and this, so that means I guess that this is coming to the general shop that you can purchase a la carte. And these are the Rainbow Gel Pens Duo and they are $8.50. We will take these out and test them in just a minute here. But there's a few other things here. The first of which is a set of covers. I do feel like there's always a set of covers in these boxes. Like, I, I haven't even looked at what the boxes were for a while. But even when I was getting these, like, three or four years ago, they always had a cover in them. The only thing is, is this is a 7x9. And now they offer so many planners in the A5 size. I do wish that there was an... I was actually thinking about this before I even opened the box. I do wish that there was just an option to choose, knowing that there's going to be a cover in the box. So I do wish that there was an option to choose either the A5 or the 7x9 size. I think that that would be a really nice touch, especially since they're now offering so many A5 planners. Like you've got the A5 Daily Duo and there's also, I think an A5 academic planner and there's also the A5 the compact vertical weekly which looks like it's gaining popularity so I think it would be really really nice if they offered this 
like as an option, like where you could just select that you have an A5 planner instead of a 7x9. I do have some notebooks and other stuff in 7x9 and you never know, so I'm definitely gonna hang on to these. They're really, really pretty and they are gold foiled covers, which is super, super cute. And then these are $13, which I think is the normal price for the foiled cover there. And this is exclusive to the box, but they have tons of covers on their website as well. So then next up, you have this Color Blends Landscape Productivity Journal. Interesting. So this says $12 and this, which by the way, that makes this whole book less than that reusable shopping bag. So I just, I don't know. Um, yeah. So it's a landscape book. It says balance is not something you find. It's something you create. Same as the pop, the thing, the, the quote on the card. And again, this is in like the color blend style. It's really, really pretty. It's like a very like soft ombre rainbow type thing. And it's just, oh, okay. Interesting. So it feels like the nice easy paper and everything like that. And it's just like lined paper with a checklist on the side. So that's interesting. Um, I don't know about that, but I guess it's kind of cool. Just a different style of notebook. You can like take some notes here, put some action items. This actually might be really good for taking notes during a meeting because you could like write your notes here and then put like your follow-ups or your takeaways uh, over on the side there and then the back page is just blank and it's just like a big little notebook here and it is I mean it says that it's a oh it does say productivity landscape journal I was like it says self-care the cut the quote on the cover doesn't necessarily uh, match with the idea of being a meetings note-taking thing but that's totally fine and it is uh, just a nice thing and it is the again the really nice Erin Codron paper so you're not gonna have any problems using any kinds of pens or anything like that on that and then the other thing which is going to come to the shop which is super super cute is this uh self-care sticky note pad this is a sneak peek so this will be in the shop for everyone and it's basically a habit tracker sticky note pad so super cute i really like this a lot and it is a sticky note so it's got like a rainbow box at the top again i think this is a, all of the color aesthetic on this kind of matches it's in the color blends style and it's got like this rainbow swatch at the bottom that says this week's joy and then it just has a section for habits and there are seven habits that you can list out. Really, really cute, really nice like paper, feels like on the sticky note, and then we can test the stickiness there. Um, so, cause like I know people say that the EC stuff doesn't stick super well, but honestly, this feels like pretty sticky to me. <laughs> um, and it's not, it's not like the other one, or it's not like the, the post-it brown one, like the freebie that came with my lunch day order. But yeah, this feels like it's sticking super well. So maybe we will pull out that gel pen and do some testing in these two notebooks. Okay, so here are the two rainbow gel pens. And this one is kind of like the red, orange, yellow. And the other one is like the purple, pink, blue, I guess. I don't know. Uh, if you will. So uh, super, super cute. So let's just try this out here. Okay. So I've been scribbling with these for a little while now and I, they're like fine gel pens, but they don't have any kind of like rainbow or ombre effect. It basically just blends into like a, this bluish purple and an orange. And there's like a couple of splats where I could see like a slightly different color on there. But like considering how much I just wrote and then how little differentiation there is, there's just, yeah, it's just like basically all mixing in the barrel as it comes out, I guess. I'm not really sure like what the effect is supposed to be based on like the way that this looks. I kind of thought it was going to be like a sort of ombre effect or something and it's also called rainbow gel pens but like I don't really see any difference between just having this be an orange and a light purple I really like the this color like this purpley blue color which matches this journal really well the orange is like a little bit bright for me and I'm not really sure how much I'm gonna use that and they write really nice they're like fine gel pens but again I just I don't I mean there's no rainbow effect on this. So that's kind of disappointing. Uh, and this is again, one of the items that is coming to the shop, this and the sticky note pad with the habit tracker. So my favorite thing from the box is the sticky note pack from the habit tracker. 
if I had not gotten this box, I probably would have ended up picking up this habits tracker sticky note thing uh, in a subsequent order or something similar. I've been thinking about actually picking one of those up for a little while. I do really, really like that. In terms of like the overall value for this, I'm gonna go with it probably wasn't work it, worth it. I will definitely use this little landscape note taking thing. I like the idea of this. I probably wouldn't have bought this because I have a million notebooks, but I will definitely use it now that I have it. It is super portable as well. It's pretty, pretty small. I will actually tell you how small it is. It is like eight by, by five and three quarters. So I guess so it's like a little bit more than eight. I guess it's kind of like, is that a five size? Yeah, it's an A5 size, it's just landscape. That is my Moxie Life Quarterly Companion Notebook. It's the same size, it's just landscape open. Um, and I do, this, like, having it be this width, having it be landscape actually makes a lot of sense for note taking. And I do like the little product productivity tab there. So this is a cool thing and I'm happy to have it. And I'm really, really happy to have these fun little sticky notes. I will definitely use these. These are super, super cute. The cover is really gorgeous. And if it was in an A5 size, I would love it even more just because that's the EC planner I'm currently using. But I also have like a seven by nine non EC planner that I think that this will fit on. So totally fine. And fun to use. It's a really, really pretty cover. So those are probably like my three favorite things. I think the nail stuff is like a fun idea, but I would like probably say one nail thing as a bonus item and more planner stuff would be more appreciated than throwing in a bunch of nail stuff because I have a lot of nail brands that I already shop from and I own a lot of nail stuff since that's something I do a lot. But yeah, so a really cute and fun summary box with a couple of really great items that I love and I'm definitely going to use. But overall, for me at least, probably not worth the $40 that it cost. That being said, I did have a really good time unboxing this and I do really love a couple of the items in here. But I do wish that there had been like less nail stuff and more planner stuff, if that makes sense. But anyway, that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you picked up the seasonal surprise box, definitely let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. I can't wait to now, after I've filmed my unboxing of this, I will go and find a bunch of other people's unboxings of it to hear what they thought, because that is something I very much enjoy doing. Uh, anyway, I will talk to you all soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not also already subscribed and follow me on Instagram at MyCraftyPlans to keep up with everything going on in my planners. Bye!